Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 287. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 285 to 294. In 287, here's the setup. We have some codes in the range, uh, this range right here. And here is a table with codes and associated numbers or scores. Now if we have D4 and D4 here, we need to be able to go down here, uh, find that there's two D4s, look over to this column, grab that 4 twice and add it together. So we're going to look at a couple different formulas. A basic formula you could use, this is an array formula, is using the sum function. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt equals, Alt equals. And then I'm going to highlight um, it, where it's highlighted and it's the wrong range so I'm going to type in open parentheses and then I want to highlight this equals this. This is asking the question are these two equal and in fact the, the D4 will say um, is it equal to this? Is it equal to this? It'll say yes. This one won't be any, equal to any of them. This D4 will ask the same question and get a true, so there'll be two trues. Now, we could actually highlight this right here and evaluate it by hitting the F9 key. And we can see something interesting here. It's a false, 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 false. Notice there's commas and then a semicolon. Commas mean column and Semi, I'm sorry, yeah, comm commas mean column, semicolons means row. So what it's done is it's compared this one S2 across here. Notice false, 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 false. So it gives us four falses. Then it goes down to the next uh, row, which is here. And this D4 is compared there. True, false, true, false. And that's where we get the true, false, true, false. And then all the rest are false. I'm going to control Z. And that gives a series of trues and false, and we simply multiply that times this range right here. And now, because it's an array formula, we can control shift enter, and we get eight. Now, let's look at this um, right here. Highlight all of this, and then hit your, our F9 key. And you can see that, sure enough, exactly like we saw the trues and falses, a bunch of zeros. And then the next row, when it's comparing this whole row to that cell right there, it gives us 404. And then the sum adds it. I'm going to click Escape. F2. I'm going to copy this. Because what if we had blanks here? Now, really, we're adding, so getting a zero would be just fine. But if you didn't want that zero, you wanted an actual uh, blank there. By the way, we could pick something different and test it, right? So we got an F5, we got an F5, and then we got an S2. So sure enough, we get 12. Now, here's what formula we could do if we wanted a blank instead of a zero equals if. And I'm going to use and. And all of these equals to double quote, double quote. Now, this is an array because we're an, an and looks at lots of logical tests, but there's four cells uh, entered in here without commas. So this is makes it an array. But that's OK because we're going to use that sum again, and that's part of an array also. Some people don't like to do the arrays because of the Control Shift Enter. All right, so that's the first logical test. It, if all of those are blank, then what do we want? A blank. Otherwise, and I'm going to control V to paste that sum, close parentheses. So that formula will work, control, shift, enter. Now, if we make these all blank, we can see the difference. I'm going to control Z. Now, here's a, um, another formula from Barry Houdini at the Mr. Excel message board. And there's the link for this. This is a great formula. It is does not involve any um, the keyboard shortcut Control Shift Enter. By the way, when I did that Control Shift Enter, you get that little curly brackets right there and there. That gets put in automatically when you Control Shift Enter. But watch, this formula will do the same thing, but not require control shift enter. Let's do equals if and instead of and are all of those blanks you can do counta. And watch this. This counta right here, and this is one of the cool things I learned from this particular post by Houdini because um, or how to use this counta 
as a true false. Because guess what? When all of these are blank, counter returns zero. And in Excel true false language, zero is false. Any number, one or greater, Excel interprets as true. So anytime counter sees anything there, it counts one, two, three, or four, and any of those will return a true. So that's a clever way for an on-off switch for your logical, or I mean, in essence, a true-false test. An on-off switch because it'll show either a blank or calculate the formula. I always think of these, uh, if it's blank, put a blank as an on-off switch, you know, Calculate the formula or not, show a blank. All right, so that's the, whenever this gives us a 1, 2, 3, or 4, that's true. And what we want is this next part, sum product. Sum product is nice because it allows you to do array type formulas, sum array formulas, without entering Control Shift Enter. Now here's the trick, sum if inside of the sum product. Okay, so the sum if right here, we have to select this range first. That's the range with the criteria, comma, and then the criteria. And we're, usually we put a, a single bit of criteria here, but now we're going to put an array of values. So that makes this an, an array, comma, and then the sum value is here. Contr um, close parentheses, close parentheses on the sum product. Now, we're back to uh, the if. You can see the screen tip. We did the value of true. Now, comma and the value of false is a double quote for blank, close parentheses. And now I don't have to control shift enter. I can just enter or control enter. Now, something interesting uh, about, uh, well, the great thing about this is you don't have to do control shift enter. Now, watch this. Um, if I move this, the test region around, so if I take this, control X, and ask, is that equal to this in the opposite order? It'll still work. But if you do the sum if in the opposite order, control X, it will not work. So you want to be careful in the second one here. It'll give you a, a, a different number, 14. So control Z. When you do this one, you got to be sure and put them in, select this one first and compare it to this one because this has, this is the range, this is the criteria. All right, so those are three excellent formulas uh, for find, adding the associated codes with some, uh, some associated numbers with codes in a range. All right, we'll see you next trick.